Namaste, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby, and I hope you like my paintings. I have a bunch I didn't have even posted yet that I've already sold. Although PayPal is holding my money for 21 days, whatever, right? But I was just thinking, YouTube is fighting me so hard that it sucks because, you know, all I want to do is, and I understand now why, because, you know, they don't want to pay me. And I'm, I'm awesome. And, you know, when the word gets out, they'll have to. But in the meantime, I'm relaxing, I'm resting, and I'm watching these whales just sw swim around. It's beautiful. I keep thinking, I keep forgetting who I am. Sometimes, like, God and the universe, like, dude, you're the emperor of the universe, babe. Chill. Just enjoy. Enjoy what we have. And then how do they do that? A whale just shows up and just hangs out in front of me. And nobody else is seeing them. I'm just like, it's pretty awesome. You know, I told you, like, see ferrets. Crows love me, and so the little finches, the little birds are cute. But anyway, this video is just an update. Still going strong. Just a little tired. Um, yeah. Saturday and Sunday was fun. I worked at Night Beach, just doing it. You know, just hanging my stuff, painting, and and I sold two to a cute young lady and her boyfriend. And she was, she's like, "Can I? Are you selling?" I'm like, "Yes, ma'am." She's like, "Can I buy two? I'm like, "Yes, ma'am." That's the, the PayPal hold up. But she picked really good ones. She, I haven't posted them yet because, uh, you know, YouTube is kind of blocking me right now. But there's one that I painted, which is a moonlight um, ocean view with some rocks. And, and the stars glow in the dark and the moon. And it's really beautiful. And a sunset also glows in the dark. <coughs> Excuse me, which they bought. And I painted a sunflower, which I just posted, but it only got like 40 views. And... They're blocking my stuff. They're blocking my shorts, babe. They're trying to they're cock blocking my shorts. Anyway, so in the meantime, God and the universe are just gonna give me some whales. I'm just gonna get more sleep and yeah, do more painting or thinking about painting. And I'm gonna do more. I'm, I, of course, I sold the Polynesian um, sunset to one of the greeters at Walmart. She was so adorable, the old lady. And she was kept seeing me leave with you know these canvas, and she's like, "Do you?" And finally, I showed her some of my work, and she was like, "Oh, okay." And I brought in that Polynesian because she goes, "I was like, I'm gonna have to sell you a painting eventually." She was like, "I like ocean stuff." I'm like, "Okay." So I brought in that Polynesian sunset, and she was like, "I want this one." But I was like, "This so you want?" And she's like, "Yes." I'm like, "Okay." And oh yeah, you know, here's the thing, I I've come up with the term. For my my paintings, my art, it's called eye massage. So I'm a eye masseuse. But yeah, yeah, seriously. Oh, this is juniper, by the way. And this is sage. I burn juniper and sage for protection. And that's a that's a shaman thing. That's a spiritual warfare thing. Anyway, but yeah, eye massages. I'm gonna put up a sign doing that. That's gonna be my next thing when I when I start selling this weekend. But anyway, at Night Beach, really good place anyway. So, yeah, and I also talked to some lady whose daughter saw me Saturday and they came up Sunday to talk to me because um, I was busy selling and so they didn't want to interrupt. But yeah, her daughter wanted to know if she was going to be viable as an artist or she should be an artist and if you can make money. Hmm. But I did tell, she. I guess she paints dragons, the young lady. And I was like, well, I told the mom and her, I said, well, first of all, you are an artist. If you're painting, you're an artist. If you're doing things, you're an artist. Whether or not you make money at it ever is irrelevant. You're an artist. If you sing and you're really beautiful at it, you're an artist. If you can dance, you know, like money is irrelevant when it comes to the soul. So if you're an artist, you're an artist. You have to accept that. I thought you're gonna have to accept the fact that you're an artist and then go, you know, go accordingly, right? Well, you see, look, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at a whale right now. Just swimming in front of me, yeah. I mean, it's good things in the world, babe. It's just, you know, and I'm trying to get it out to the world. I'm trying to let people know that there's positive things in the world. It's it's a beautiful place, and you can you can live in this world without having to be stuck to tied to these assholes. I mean, it might be a little rough. This nomadic lifestyle is actually kind of cool, and it's getting more popular with people too. So we'll see. All those people that just never went back to work, they gotta have to do something, figure something out. You know, like I said, if it's not just sitting on the corner telling jokes, tap dancing. Playing the ukulele, I don't know, <laughs> selling jewelry. I'm actually gonna, I have, I have a bunch of shells. 
and I actually did a mixed media painting with some shells on it, and I, which is kind of cool. But like I said, I haven't been able to post a lot of stuff. So this is just going to be a rant. And hopefully nobody sees it. YouTube, I love you, YouTube. It's like, ugh, it's kicking me in the balls, babe. I'm not even asking for money from these assholes, and they're just making sure that they don't have to, right? It's like, I just want to get the word out. I want people to feel good about themselves. I want you to get in your emperor and your empress energy. Oh, by the way, I got to talk about this real quick. There was a gentleman I met yesterday who was already parked here with his wife or whatever. And he was he was an English gentleman. I knew it, dude. I was walking back from from depot and I just and I was walking back up to my vehicle and he was standing there. And I was like, "Oh, this fucker's got to be British, right?" Cuz he he was wearing a mustard sweater and uh, like a colorful like scarf kind of handkerchief. And I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker, this ain't local, right?" As soon as he start, I started, you know, getting in my vehicle, and he goes, excuse me, and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, right? I was like, he's like, I hope it don't bother. I was like, no, what, what do you want? What are you talking about? Because I knew he was going to talk about my art. But anyways, he's very um, intellectual. Been around the world. Showed me an interesting, huge fruit that elephant loved to eat that he just gets at the store because nobody else buys. It's cheap. But he loves. Anyway, the thing that got me about this gentleman, an intellectual is that he was talking, we got to talk about governments and all this other, and he talked about slavery. And how he thought, he was like, how would you deal with it? How would you solve the problems? I would say, I personally, I said, put all the politicians in jail for one thing. That would be a good start. And then fix all the shit that they were hiding, uncover that, and then actually get to the work of fixing the problems of the world. His solution was because everybody needs to, basically, <clears throat> it was a Lord of the Manor kind of ideal. Slavery, he thought, was a good idea. And he mentions this because he says people under slavery are more comfortable and happy. Like he talks about people from the South that he would hang out with when he was in the South. And they said that they missed the old days of slavery because they didn't have to do nothing. I was like, oh, this motherfucker, right? I was like... I didn't ask him how many people he'd given this theory to because we had a really deep conversation. Obviously, he could see that I was, I was able to accept concepts from other human beings without getting too upset about it. But he was asking, and I just looked at him like, um, yeah. I just, I couldn't, I, I was just looking at him like, yeah. I just, he's all, no, people need, and he, he was, here's the thing. And I harp on this before. I mean, he's talking about not everybody has the same IQ, not everybody's skilled, not everybody, and so he's he's looking at not everybody is an equal soul, and which is hurts my heart, and I just had a problem with that. I understand the concept of what he's speaking of, because it's kind of like being uh, King Arthur or being a Robin Hood. You're always looking out for those less fortunate. If somebody is crippled or somebody is mentally deficient, your job as somebody who are who is mentally capable and physically capable to help them. Period. And if you're the stronger you are and the smarter you are and the more capable you are and the more richer you are, the more obligated you are to help those less fortunate than you in many ways, right? And that's what I understood <clears throat> as far as that's concerned. Like if I were to be like a leader, like, okay, I'm emperor of the universe, so I could, I'm already there. But I, if I was put in charge of something, put it that way, of being in charge of the whole world, okay? If I was in charge of the whole world, it wouldn't be a problem because I would treat everybody equally. I wouldn't look at anybody as deficient, as in need of slavery, because they are lacking mentally or physically, which is just something I just can't get behind. I, like I said, the gentleman was trying to explain that people need a leader. They need, they need a shepherd. They, they just, they can't think for themselves and they can't do for themselves. So they need somebody else to do it for them. I don't. I'm not. I, I like the idea of teaching somebody to fish. So you, you know. That kind of thing. So anyway, you know, I just thought that was an interesting conversation. But when he brought up slavery, I was just, that's when I was like, oh, okay. And toxicity comes in all forms. Even English gentlemen who, you know, intellectually intelligent as he is, he still, that's a toxic behavior. That's a toxic mindset to want anybody to be enchained simply because they are mentally deficient and they need to be led because they would just run, like lemmings go off a cliff or some shit. <sighs> the, the people you meet when you're walking down the street, right? Anyways, I'm going to let you go. This is just a video saying I'm watching whales and enjoying my time and working on more paintings. I'm really jazzed about that. I'm just focusing on my paintings, you know. 
and hopefully my empress will show up eventually and get her head out of her ass. I don't know, maybe maybe she's already, I don't know who she is. Maybe I met her before and she just needed to heal or maybe she's some awesome, super famous person that just needs to get away from all the toxic family members that are sucking them dry. But who knows who this person is? I'm excited about the prospect though. So let's just keep my soul clean, stay out of trouble, try to. No, seriously, I'm just totally, when I'm not selling my paintings, I'm isolated completely, so it's beautiful. Except for whales and ferrets and stuff. But anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you. We want you to have a wonderful day, all right? Goodbye. Okay,